guys it's your boy burgers kicks here and um in this video i'm going to be showing you guys a project destroyer bot setup for yeezy supply and foot sites because those are the only two sites that i use it on i don't use it on shopify or supreme because i have other bots for those so i'm going to start off with yeezy supply first first the main thing with uh project destroyer like almost all other bots you need to harvest yeezy supply cookies so you'll click the little cookie jar right here and then you'll have this pop up so you can use proxies like your global and stuff like that i don't use any when i use the just like cookie officer jar so then you go down to my Z supply where is it it's up here there it is so you click these supply see i have one like i just clear them and then you click generate and it'll do like status fetch and cookie and it'll tell you when to gens them it's sort of slow project destroyer also has their own like custom script that they made which works pretty good as well and it's a lot faster but most of the time i usually just let the jar run all day because it goes pretty quick like throughout the day so basically once you get enough cookies you know that's that's like the first step you should do for yeast supply because cookies are everything they uh practice story recommends like five cookies per task i mean i personally think it's a little excessive but i mean like they say the more cookies the better you can never have too many so um yeah once you do that i'll show you like a test sub now so you just fly you're gonna want to use the dw which is demand where so for this you'll change it to url and for you supply you have to type skew you put skew equals and then whatever the skew is sold fx one two three four oh whoops so like that is how you would set it up if you don't have the skew equals your task will do nothing so then you have obviously your proxy list right here quantity which is i just leave one because i'm pretty sure it's you know how many you want per order which you can only get one um you can do specific proxies i don't i just use this you can do specific custom delays for each task i don't do that either i use one one delay for all my tasks and then in here you're gonna want to have like the url to like the the page so like for example it'd be like the https best splash s um you supply and then like product and then you'd have like the skew and then let's see if i can find it for example let me go to you supply oh cool we'll go to my checkout for example like so you you take this you take this link then so i always have splash release on because obviously it's gonna be a splash release i usually use auto checkout and you can use a catch-all you don't have to like if you use a catch-all it's gonna use down here i usually just check it off because there's no reason to have it so then you would like select your sizes and stuff like that select your cards and then select task mount uh, create them for delays or use supply i usually use like anywhere from 3500 to 5000 I vary them per release usually but yeah also prize destroyer has their own use supply guide within their discord which is very helpful and they also show like setups and stuff like that you should easily have access to the discord but if you don't I'll leave these two guides in the, the description they're pretty helpful you know should tell you what to do like see you have like skews and all that they show like setups and stuff, errors, cookies, all that. So that's the supply. Now I'm going to show you guys foot sites. Um, for foot sites, I vary between probably 2,500 to maybe 4,500 in delays, depending on sites. So for like foot sites, a lot different. Foot Locker. All right, so we have Foot Locker here. We'll delete that. So you, with foot sites, you have the option of URL or SKU. I usually use just use the skew. So like for example, go to Foot Locker. Steal one of these. So this would be the skew right here. Your group should post these. If not, you can manually find it like this on the page. It's also down here, product number. So now you'd go back to the product destroyer, you type that in. Use your proxy list. 
Same thing, you do custom delays. I don't, I just leave them. You can do random or you can select sizes. Um, the one thing I noticed with uh, product destroyers, you can select like multiples, click and drag, and then you can click and drag, click one, create. And it creates one task per each size, per type. But yeah, I usually don't do that. Usually, I don't usually run too, too many tasks. So I usually just go size by size and card by card. But that's an easy way to do it if you want to just run like all like a full size run on each card and you tasks don't matter to you and it's the same setup for like Foot Locker, Champs, East Bay, Foot Action. Finish Line has a little different setup but they talk about that in the guide which is super helpful. <clears throat> like they have their guide here, it says delays, says skews, when to start, they have just a bunch of stuff in their guides. Their discords also help too. But then they have all like errors down here to tell you like what's wrong and what you should do. And they're like, yeah, finish line's a little different. Because you're gonna use the desktops and use URLs and stuff like that. So it's a little different than foot sites, like just regular foot sites. But yeah, other than that, like it's a pretty easy bot to set up. It does pretty well on Yeast Supply and Foot Sites, and that's why I use it on both of these sites. Because it's been doing very good. Apparently their Shopify has been updated too. I just haven't ran it because I have other bots to run on Shopify, so yeah. Um, anything else? I mean, proxies use whatever proxy you want. I would try and get good ones for you supply. Oh, well, and lastly, captions like with every other bot, like your captions. This is just proxies and everything, so but um, you're gonna want to just leave this. And you'll just log in. Like the only thing you're gonna want to do is log in. Like I would, if you already have it open, I would log out and then re-log back in. And then just leave this open during e supply drops, and it'll automatically like solve captures the feed three since they're like invisible. But make sure you're logged in because I don't, people always say they get errors of like waiting on captcha. If you get stuck on waiting for captcha, you can try logging out, try like logging back in, reload it, or like close the whole bot and reopen it all sometimes that usually works i've had issues you can also throw like proxies into that helps but yeah other than that like that's really all you need to know um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's your boy burger and i'm signing out peace